yeah it's a basic street there's really nothing special about it but to be honest like i used to love walking i i just like walking and i like this kind of thing i like the midwestern vibe um <clears throat> i just love it it makes me sad that i know it's all going away and things are just gonna be a lot different the whole point of the whole the whole point of the midwestern vibe is that it's like old manufacturing kind of stuff but as all this you know quote unquote um should i put the camera on myself since all since all this old all this new modern stuff is going up then all the old stuff is going away and then people are gonna forget all about it because when the old stuff was integrated into now it was tied together and that's what made it cool you know like you can feel the history in it but as the new modern crap is getting put up uh, all that history all that stuff that you could feel you know i'm not talking about history that you know with your that you read in a book i'm talking about you could feel the past in those old buildings it's all being erased and honestly that makes me sad so walking through this is becoming less and less satisfying because of the sadness that i feel and I feel like everything is losing um, its um, its essence, right? Not to be all uh, depressing, but but yeah. So I'm gonna mess around and w wind up walking the whole way. Probably not, but I just another put bus past. So probably another 20 minutes before another one comes. So I'm gonna walk for here, probably another 15 minutes. It was an hour walk from the train. So I've probably been walking about 15 or 20 minutes already. <laughs> Might as well do it all the way, right? So we're just cool like that. But yeah, like normally I, I don't mind walking this at all. Um, I don't know why I have the camera pointed towards me. Yeah, cause I don't want to film it all crooked. There's like a swing set and there's a, looks like an ice ring. They shouldn't, they need to put pull-up bars everywhere. If I'm being, if I need to be a, a complainer. Let's put the camera back on me, not piss people off. I like this walk for me i love it i love just i could just walk like this forever and i'd have a great time but i guess for a video it's probably super boring there's some nice looking houses here interesting looking houses let's take a look look at that Look at the roof. The, the roof is sick. Look at the slant on that roof. The windows. It looks badass. Look at that. The awning. It's like a copper awning or something. And then look at this piece of crap right here. Right next to it. See, this is what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying, though? <laughs> this thing should be torn down, like... This thing needs to come down, bro. This is disgusting. I hate this. So this is turning into like an architecture tour. <laughs> Am I being too cynical? I really feel this way. So I'm, I'm gonna put it out there because I think this all the time. Now look at the, even this. It's super plain, but like look at the cut to the windows. It looks kind of cool. It's super plain though, but I mean, it's still, I don't know, it's got a 
something to it that's kind of like, I don't know, it's, it's, it's all right. I don't mind this at all. <clears throat> um, that's what I like about Russia too, like the buildings, people might think they're, they look bad or they look, but some people are super fanatical about Russian buildings and like I, Soviet block architecture, brutalist. Russia definitely has an essence when I talk about like um, the Midwest has like a you know an essence of the past manufacturing the rust belt um, you know steel production whatever yeah the, Ru the Russia definitely has an essence super like baked in to everything you could feel it I think that's why people like the architecture is because you can literally feel it through a video, through a picture. And that's real. That is really real. Um, so yeah, I, I hope that this is gonna come out good on the video and it just doesn't sound like me rambling like an idiot. I'm probably gonna post it anyways. But this is my second day with the GoPro and uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna make the vlogs tight. I'm gonna make them tighter. I'll make the videos tighter. I'm not gonna talk for like an, an hour every time, but. This is my second day with the GoPro, so I'm pretty much just testing, testing it. I looked over some footage and I kind of like how it came out. Some of it, some of it I'm just gonna throw out, but some of it I really like. Once I figure out how to get some continuity and like a storyline going, it'll be a better, um, deal and hopefully it'll be interesting for people to watch because i was watching it honestly i was loving it the walking tour i was liking it sorry i don't want to put the camera on myself garbage building sorry i hate it though <clears throat> um, another half mass flag can somebody please explain to me i mean i know no one's gonna have a good explanation but i just want to point out that the flag should not be at half mast you know what i mean conspiracy theory but they, my theory is that it's done on purpose to symbolize the destruction of um you know the fall of america so it's just a, a way to cement that in the public consciousness. When people, when you see a flag half mast, what do you think of? You know, you think of, you know, you think of uh, someone's past. Someone's passed away. So when you put the flag at half mast all the time, no one's died. What does that mean? It means that the idea of America has passed away, and a new something new is coming kind of like those new buildings that are going up the new crap cheap modern crap and that's the future was that too uh, <laughs> was that too heavy <laughs> all right so hopefully we come on to a bus stop here soon so we don't have to walk the entire way Yeah, there's like a firehouse. Yeah, who died? People are always dying. I mean, you can keep the flag half mast uh, all, forever all the time. No. Nope. I know what it's about. I'm not complaining. I'm just pointing it out. 